Here we have two regions on the x-axis that are expressed in set builder notation and we are being asked to translate that into interval notation. The first region has x is an element of real numbers such that x is greater than 2. And the second region is x is an element of real numbers such that negative 2 is less than x which is less than or equal to 3. The first thing I'm going to do is graph these on the number line because that helps me to see what I'm doing. I like to always show a zero on my number line. The only limit given is two, so I will show a two. X is greater than two. Two is not included. It is not X is greater than or equal to two, so I put an open circle around the two. And then the numbers greater than two are over here, so I shade to the right. towards positive infinity, and then I put a dot, dot, dot to indicate that I know it continues in that direction. Over here, I'm given two limits, negative 2 and 3. So I show both of them. Negative 2 is not included, so I put an open circle around negative 2. And 3 is included, so I put a closed circle on 3. This notation means x is in between those two numbers, so I am shading in between those two numbers. Now I want to translate into interval notation. The only limit given here is 2, so I start by writing a 2. And then a comma. It goes to positive infinity, so I put infinity. The 2 is not included, so I put a square bracket pointing away from the 2. If I wish, I can put a square bracket pointing away to infinity to show that infinity is also not included. I cannot put a bracket pointing towards infinity because infinity is not an element of real numbers. It cannot be included. But you don't have to use a bracket at all around infinity or negative infinity. And the easiest thing is to just not bother to put one. Over here, I have two limits. I have negative 2, then I put a comma, and I have 3. The negative 2 is not included, so my square bracket points away from the negative 2. The 3 is included, so my square bracket points towards the 3. This is how we can translate from set builder notation to interval notation in a situation where there's only one limit or in a situation where we have the numbers in between two limits.